20 fire trucks surrounded that plant in Newark after reports of a fire and an explosion inside. Good evening, everyone. Thanks for staying with us at 6. I'm Colleen Marshall. And I'm Dwayne Pullman. Tonight, we know five people were injured, but only one person was taken to the hospital. Firefighters just left that scene less than an hour ago at the Arborist plant on Tamarack Road. Roads in the area, we're told, are now reopening. The fire was reported just after 1.30 this afternoon. NBC4 has team coverage tonight. Photographer John Edwards is at the hospital gathering the very latest information about the victims. But first, let's go to Ted Hart, who is live at the scene with the very latest on all of this. Ted. Well, this was a dicey situation that at one point had two employees trapped inside a, an outdoor control room that was completely surrounded by flames. The company, Arborist, as you mentioned, uses a number of different chemicals and processes in their operations here. So the first thing that firefighters needed to know when they arrived here was what kind of chemicals they were dealing with. The fire was significant, though, with flames shooting high into the air at one point. But again, it all started with that explosion. There was a containment vessel that had hexane and ethanol uh, contained in a vessel that exploded, causing a significant fire. Our main concern here was, was safety and the people and life loss. Uh, we had five people that were walking wounded when we got here. Uh, the plant's fire suppression system uh, kicked in fairly early on, giving those employees who were trapped a chance to run for it. Once firefighters got here, the fire was fairly quickly uh, contained and uh, injuries were kept to a minimum. Now, photographer John Edwards has been following up on the, those who were injured uh, in this incident today, and he joins us live now with more on that. John? Thanks, Ted. A total of five people were injured either in the explosion or the fire that, that followed. Four people were treated at the scene and one man was brought here to Licking Memorial Hospital. He was one of the two people that, as Ted said, were trapped in that control room. He suffered uh, burns to his head, face and arm. And matter of fact, a company spokesperson tells NBC4 that he was released from the hospital and returned to work a short time later. Live in Newark, John Edwards, NBC4. All right, thanks so much, John. NBC4 first broke this story on our website, and we will continue to bring you continuing coverage of the breaking news story. We'll bring you updates on the air and on our website, of course, NBC4i.com.